Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is John with Infidel Garage, and this is the 06 GTO. You guys might have seen it in my earlier videos, haven't hit it in a long time. It's a daily driver, gets me back and forth to work, and I like to road race it. Drag racing's fun as hell, um, but my passion's actually in the corners. I know, should have got an M3, whatever. These are heavy beasts, but it's pretty awesome bringing a big car out to a technical track that I go to like uh, Thunder Hill it gets a lot of attention out there and makes a lot of noise may or may not got kicked off for being too loud <laughs> But yeah, today I thought, um, doing a little bit of work on it, uh, cleaning some things up, and I'm like, shoot, I've never actually gone in depth into the mods that it's got. It's not crazy. I'm um, still running NA, still stock cam, but I'm about to go ahead and start from the top. So it's 2006, so it's got an LS2. Came from the factory with 400 horse, 400 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. Uh, it's made it up to a T56 six-speed manual, and mine's got 122,000 miles on it now. I think I bought it with maybe 80K, something like that. So I put some miles on her, and they have not been gentle. So <laughs> luckily, this is not a for-sale ad. Uh, most recent mod with the most power is probably the uh, painted little cool pack covers there at least 15 horse but uh what you're looking at down there is uh some aftermarket uh plug wires so these little guys right here that was one of the first things i did was change the plugs and they disintegrated the uh, factory ones did so i got these ones they're uh from a company called massive they've been doing really good uh then i went to attack the exhaust when i bought it it was uh, just a muffler delete and I went with full long tube headers these are some eBay specials uh, and I wrapped them in actual good I think it's DEI um, header wrap those guys are really good it's uh, the exhaust is running down to a X pipe which I was also under here doing some work so th those are kind of shredded from hitting bumps and whatnot but Runs down, hits the factory. I, no, that's not factory. That's some eBay bullshit exhaust that I got because the factory one was so garbage. Um, somebody had put so many pieces into it. Um, these little corner pieces here, those were like that when I got it. Still haven't changed those out. What I really want to do is get a whole new exhaust with some actual name brand good headers um good x-pipe true three inch all the way out the back and uh yeah that'll be nice uh added those little uh little bullet style mufflers on the back because like i said i may or may not got it kicked off the track i definitely did it was uh 106 decibels uh and there's no fun in getting kicked off the racetrack when you've already paid for all the sessions and to be friendly to my neighbors, I put those on there. Um, they still sound really good, but they do kind of limit the crackling, the popping. The initial startup's a little tamer. Uh, other things you notice, maybe if you're looking hard, a little tack weld I just put on the uh, that slip pipe because it's eBay junk. It's all cobbled together. These clamps don't hold for shit. Um, I had to do some banging right there with a hammer to get these things to seat back where they're supposed to be because after a while of beating the shit out of it, they loosen up and uh, they they didn't fall down, but they they were pretty damn close. So a little tack weld should hold those on there a little bit longer than normal. <clears throat> you probably don't care what the bullet mufflers, but now you can't even see. But that's what they look like. Not the prettiest weld in the world either. So, one of those for the engine. 
when I got it, it had this k and intake on it. It's decent. Um, it's not like a true cold air. It still pulls cooler air from over here. At least it's got a separator or a heat, heat shield. And I also wrapped it in heat tape. Just trying to do everything I can to keep the heat down on this thing because heat's the enemy when you're trying to make power. Um, other engine mods. <clears throat> Nothing directly. I mean, they're all basically supporting mods. Mishimoto aluminum radiator because the factory one cracked on me. Uh, battery moved to the trunk for better weight distribution and possible turbo down the road. Um, I guess this would count for steering. I uh, blew two power steering pumps while at the racetrack. This is the only one I could find, and it's from, oh shit, uh, Turn One. So, Turn One is the only company I could find that had a better built aftermarket type um, power steering pump. So instead of just having a bushing where your pulley rides, these guys actually put a real bearing in there. Uh, that was my problem. I kept crapping out that bushing uh, by overworking the power steering. I boiled the freaking fluid every time I was out there. Uh, so another thing I did was move the power steering reservoir from here to up there. Also coated it in some underbody coating because they look like crap if you don't. Um, down the road, <clears throat> I'm also going to reroute these lines to put in power steering cooler in here. Got plenty of room. So another cooler up front for that guy. And that pretty much covers the, the front. Um, besides some obvious newer headlights. Not really performance, but they definitely help me see out nighttime. They're, um... Converted these ones to LEDs, at least for the uh, the low beams. The high beam is still a halogen because it's a reflector type. Um, the LEDs are awesome. I got them from a company that's not even around anymore, so it doesn't matter what they are, but they were like probably 115 bucks a set. If you go cheap, you're going to get cheap light. That's I mean, You get what you pay for them when you're going with lights. And those are actually really good. Uh, brakes. Um, I've got the factory um, calipers. The rotors are some eBay junk, but they're cross drilled and slotted. I have not had an issue with these cracking whatsoever. Uh, these are my second set uh, that I've run front and back. And the reason I'm going through them is because the pads are amazing. These are EBC yellows. If you can see any yellow left on those, but. EBC yellow pads, they're uh, great for everyday street driving as well as really biting on the track. First day I ever took this thing out um, on Thunder Hill was actually a parade lap <laughs> and overheated the brakes on the damn parade lap, which is, just, that's just funny. Wasn't even going that fast, but same treatment on the back, uh, crossroads slotted rotors, keeps the heat down and yellow pads. And the tires are Falcon uh, 615s. I've always liked these tires since they came out, which has got probably 15, maybe 20 years ago. They're a really good compound. They grip really well. Uh, they're smooth and quiet on the street. Um, I really couldn't ask for anything better. If you want to ask me about how they perform in the rain, don't, because they're fucking race tires. How do you think they perform in the rain? 400 horsepower out the back. It gets a little sketchy. Uh, the wheels, these were on here. These are uh, TSW Nürburgrings. I didn't pick them out. They look pretty good on the car. Out back, I was rocking a 275. I cut it down to a 265. Um, because the 275 was just sticking out of this narrow rim too much and I could feel it actually laying over a little bit in the corners 
like I said, it, it's not a drag car and 10 millimeters really isn't gonna uh, buy you any time <laughs> that I could think of. I mean, 265 versus 275, I'm gonna go with the better handling tire all day. Inside, the Pontiac steering wheels just fall apart, so I finally got a Momo and the cool little NRG quick release. Uh, what else? Uh, seven in, seven and a half, whatever touchscreen thing. One of those, uh, it's like a Sony 500, something like that. It's pretty awesome. Makes the uh, car sound better, which I don't really listen to the radio much in this. I'd much rather listen to the exhaust. Back seats are kind of trash from getting sun beat. I've had them out before. I'm probably going to take them out again after I get situated in a new house. Uh, just to lighten this thing up a little bit. and Nobody ever rides in the back. Uh, what else we got? Detailing. She definitely needs some work. Sitting over here um, outside the driveway. It's gotten a lot of... Yeah, so this thing needs some detailing. Uh, get all the damn water spots off it. I started earlier today when it was nice and cool out and uh, got the hood. So the hood is pretty nice. I mean, as good as it can get using uh, the water spot remover from Chemical Guys, which is actually really awesome. So heavy duty water spot remover and then uh, their quick detail spray after that. It needs it, I mean, it's it's pretty nasty. It's been neglected. That's my bad, sorry car. Forgot to hit on suspension. So these are fully adjustable uh, coilovers from Pedder Suspension out of Australia. Uh, it's got, I think it was 30, yeah, 30 different settings for the, uh, for the front and the rear uh, shocks, uh, so dampening settings. And then the ride height, of course, since they're coilovers up front, that's adjustable. And they've got adjustment on the coil on the back too. So standalone shock absorber, and then the adjustable coil spring perch in the back. And uh, that, that's pretty much it for suspension. Pretty simple. Um, running my stock sway bars that's on the list of stuff to get uh, changed out a whole bunch of bushings underneath because these Pontiac bushings did not hold up so with owning this car for six years now and this is as far as I've gone with it it's uh it's kind of on a budget do what you can um, I'm sure you guys understand that Future mods that I want to do for it. Um, I don't want the fastest GTO in the world. I, I got no need for that. I want this thing to be street drivable every day. Uh, what I do want is, you know, maybe five at the wheels, 500, 500 horsepower reliable at the wheels. So definitely going to end up upgrading the top end of the motor. So heads came in, take Texas speed, make some awesome shit. Um, BTR, Brian Tooley Racing. They make some really good stuff too. Um, so hedge cam intake. Right now, before I get into actual tearing up part of the engine, want to at least um, swap out this colder intake. I don't like it. There's way better versions. Um, there's a guy in Australia who makes a really pretty unit uh, from Do Speed. Wow, I actually remembered something for once. So instead of it shooting over to the side there, it actually comes over here, over the radiator, right? OTR. Comes down here. So you actually take advantage of all this air flowing in through the uh, little grills. It picks it up here and throws it directly into the engine. Really cool. It's, you know, real ram air. And I was like, shit, let me get in here and try and clean some stuff up. I've never actually had the throttle body off this thing. And uh, came across, you know, quite a bit of oil. And that's due to 
PCD system. It's a, it's a known LS thing. Come on. Yeah, plenty of oil in there. I uh, need a catch can, so that's another thing I'm gonna do. Got plenty of space, maybe over yonder, over yonder, who cares where it goes, as long as it does its job. Another quick thing to keep the oil out of the motor. I'll quit burning through it so bad. <clears throat> what else? Uh, steam vents. So actually do the steam vent kit. These are your steam vents here and there's actually some in the back, uh, which are from my research unused. So doing a steam vent kit means you're gonna be pulling from uh, the back of the motor as well as the front. And that's supposed to help with detonation on the rear cylinders, you know, seven and eight. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, so back to cleaning up. I'm uh, just going to spray out the intake, clean up as far as I can reach in there. Clean up the throttle body, which is, ooh, that's a good thing. Stock, these are only 92 millimeters. The Fast 102 is 102 millimeters. So that's a All right, big So if gap. we're talking about doing heads cam intake and upgrading to 500 horsepower, there's something under here that ain't gonna jive. And that's this big, long, ugly two-piece drive shaft. I've already had to change out that uh, the coupler bearing. Uh, when I first got the car, that thing was shot. Uh, rear end, I'm gonna leave it alone till it breaks. Same with the trans. I think the uh, the T56 should hold up to the 500, um, but the clutch, pretty sure it ain't. So that's gonna get upgraded as well. I think it's gonna go to the LS7 clutch. Fastest way to be able to make the car faster is to actually just take off weight. This thing's a pig, they're heavy, okay? They're just fucking big, dumb, heavy cars I got no need for power seats and these things are hard as a rock this was a Nevada car before I got it and I think these things just got cooked in the sun and their things aren't even wet anymore I mean that is just they're rock hard everything I've tried nothing works I actually got some really good uh, zip tie stitch in here but I think the seats are gonna go. I mean, as much as I love having a nice stock interior, they're gonna go. Um, along with the back ones, I'm just gonna do like a rear seat delete, which means taking up the seat, that centerpiece, and uh, putting something in there, maybe like a felted piece of really thin plywood, cut it, make it look nice, uh, put a floor down here so I can actually carry some stuff. That'd be cool. And then in the back, underneath my trunk here, this is where the battery's sitting at. Use the uh, the factory hold down uh, from under the hood. So I just ended up unbolting it and bolting it down here in the trunk. I got a uh, wiring kit online. <laughs> the first time I did this was a fucking joke. It was... Uh, um, it was an amp kit. That's what I had laying around. It was just a... Uh, oh, what gauge was that? I think it was a four gauge amp kit. That's single gauge. And uh, I made it all about three, maybe four startups before it died. It was just too much resistance going through that small cable. But uh, yeah, if you guys want details on how that's done, it's very very simple just keep it away from anything it's gonna rub on you don't want to burn the car down well i think i'm gonna end it there guys this is the gto um it's everything that's done to it future plans all wrapped up yeah like and subscribe and uh stick around to see more thanks for watching